Graphic organizers. What are graphic organizers? Graphic organizers help us study, write, communicate, and present information more easily and effectively. This presentation will show you some examples of graphic organizers that are used in Project IDEA. T-chart. A T-chart shows how two things are different. It can also be used to show two different sides of one topic, the pros and the cons. Some people use T-charts when they have to make important decisions. Spider diagram. A spider diagram is like a spider with legs. The body of the spider is the central topic. The legs of the spider are ideas that are connected to the central topic. Let's say you want to tell the class about your native country. The name of your country is the central topic. You probably want to talk about the food in your country. This is one idea. Or you want to talk about the traditions in your country. That is another idea. Parts of a paragraph. A paragraph starts with the main idea. It tells the reader what you are going to talk about. The body gives details about the main idea. The conclusion is the end of the paragraph. It repeats the main idea in a slightly different way. A grid like this can help us organize our paragraph. Here is an example. Graphic organizers make studying easier. This is your main idea. Now the details. Graphic organizers are easy to read. They help me organize important information and they help me communicate ideas. Then the conclusion. I use graphic organizers all the time. Venn diagram. A Venn diagram is used to compare and contrast two things. When you compare two things, you look for things that are the same. In a Venn diagram, that is the middle where the two circles meet and overlap. When you contrast two things, you look for what is different. The differences in a Venn diagram are easy to see. Look for the parts of the circles with different colors. Vocabulary table. A vocabulary table is very useful for learning new words. First, you write the new word. Then you write the definition. The definition tells you what the word means. Finally, you write a sample sentence. It is very important to know how to use a new word in your writing or when you speak. Writing three things about a word also helps your brain remember the word. The end.